Hello everyone, this is your boy Ray. <laughs> I'm back. I just got out of the Ben Salem gym. Sorry. I I drive around and take care of my my job. But if I have an opportunity or a lunch break, I stop and I enter uh, Planet Fitness. That's why I have a Planet Fitness um, to go to any gym. The you know the black card suspension and this gym was great. This gym is clean it has a good balance of people it has young female and male it has older crowd veterans or those that really work out everybody was there and it's not too crowded and it was good it was clean the staff were there look i got a car from it i got no promotion in it it's ben Zalem. look it up it's a great place and if you travel around it's a good idea to move around and stop in different gyms and get the black car because wherever you are you stop you do it you don't have to tie yourself up. I do supersets. For example, I do uh today I did I had old from last week because I had let me tell you. It's been kicking my ass. I did I got the flu a little while ago. I'm talking about a period of three weeks. I got the flu. And it kicked my ass trying to go to gym and work and everything. It was bad. And then after that, I got sick again the following week. I never get sick, but this was a, it was a road. I got sick again the following week, and then I got better. It was hurting. It wasn't easy. My wife got sick, too. She tested herself, and she said it came out positive, uh, COVID. So, we're not sure if we had COVID or not, but it, it, it hurt us good. And then, I went to veterans to do my regular checkups in PA. I love them. My doctor, Dr. Bevelock, I love you. She wants to make me nuclear. She'll repair everything about me. She's the best of the best. I'm expecting her call today too. She calls me. Yeah. She did some blood tests, and I'm not sure it's gonna come out any good. But uh, I'm expecting her call with the results to see if I have to change anything. She'll send me the medication over the mail, but she'll explain it to me over the phone, and she'll also send me a message. I love Veterans Hospital in Philadelphia. Michael J. Crescent something hospital. Okay. Um. And then they gave me, uh, she suggested a shing shingle shot to prevent this. It's my father-in-law had it a little while ago. And I saw how it messed him up. I said, you know what, let me get it. And I got it. Oh, God. Fever for two days in a row, trying to lift weights. Now is when I'm back again. And I'm not totally, because you can hear the nose. You can... <laughs> and uh, the raspiness, whatever you call it. So I went to the gym. I did my legs. And I did my, my, my shoulders. I normally do... One day I do arms, bicep and tricep, and then as a superset I entertain them, and then I follow up that same day with uh, legs and shoulders. I couldn't last week because they hurt me real bad. Last Friday, today is a uh, Monday, so today I finished it up with the uh, legs and, and shoulders. Not more than 30 minutes because I do a super set. I do it real quick. Real fast. Super, 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 super. Yeah. There's no time to lose. I'm not trying to become an a, a Olympic medal competition. I'm just trying to get, you know, some kind of posture because you feel as you lift weights and you do exercise, your muscles grow so it pulls back on those. How do you call that? You know, the muscles, it pulls it back and it stretches it so it gives you a better posture as a man. You know, it gives you this, you know, instead of a. So just to look better as a man, you need to do some exercise, lift some weight so the muscles could grow and it pulls up all that flat, you know. not Don't try to become an Olympic. It's just something you have to do for life. You have a body, you got to work that baby out no matter what. You don't have to do bunches of it, but you have to do something. Highly suggested. Let me tell you a story to start the storytelling. This is on one of my rounds, on one of my jobs at rehab. I picked up these guys in a rehab, right? And two of them. When I pick them up, the nurse calls me to the side because you have to sign for the medicine. They give it to you personally. Especially this guy. He has some controlled narcotics. I was transferring him from one center to another one. So I control the medicine completely. The other guy was going from that center home. So I control his medicine, but when I get to his home, I give it to him. When I get to the home of the other guy, which was there's some control narcotics, I had to I have to pass it on to the nurse personally. They never touch his hand. Okay? Um, she tells me, be careful with this one. He's a tricky one. He's always got all kinds of tricks. I say you're serious. She's got all kinds of tricks. If he cancels it, because if they cancel the trip, they don't want to go, 
They're adults. I got to let them out. But she told me, if you cancel the trip, you do not give him the control medication. No, that, no, he does not get nothing. Okay. The minute I get in, they already have a plan. Oh, because we're going to stop and drop the guy that's going home first. No, because he owed me some cigarettes and some stuff. And, and I want to stop and go inside his house so I can get, I said, no. No, but I, I need the cigarettes. I owe, he owed me some cigarettes. Can you know? He's always hustling. They're always hustling. I said, look, man, bro, I tell you straight off the bat, I've been doing this shit for 10 years. I don't play no fucking games, you know. No games with me. If you want to get out of the car, you get out of the car, you leave. That's fair. That's fine. But I'm not going to be playing this stuff. You're not going to pull anything over my head like that. No. No, because I don't know what the hell he's giving you. And the other guy said, no, but I owe him some cigarettes and, and something to eat because he was generous to me. I said, I tell you what, there's a wild right close to your house. Once I drop you in your house, you walk to the wild, wild and he stays with me in the van and I'll drive over there. And while we're over there, you buy whatever it is. You bring it to me. I check it and I pass it on to him. How about that? Eh, they finally agreed and they did that. And the other guy, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I said, yeah, you know, if you, you need to get your cigarettes, I understand. But try to understand, there's been too many tricks played before. So, homie, don't play that. Because it only takes one second and you lose it. You lose it. I took this lady. This is what I took this lady. All the ladies of the 70s. Picked her up late at night when I did nights. She had to go to the bathroom and stop at a Wawa. She said, I had to go to the bathroom. I said, okay. Um, can I take my purse? I put everything in the trunk. Put my purse because I have some personal women things in there. So sure, let me personal women things. She goes to the bathroom in a while. Takes too long. I go in there. I knock on the door. She don't answer. I have the attendant female go inside and check. That lady was drunk on the floor with a few bottles. She had a few bottles of vodka in a freaking bag and slamming it. I'm like, what the fuck? She said, what should we do? I said, let me just carry her out and I'll take care of her. They know I'm uh, rehab. I'll, I'll take care of her. Just help me with her stuff. And I carried it out and put her in the car drunk and took away all, threw away all her belongings, all her alcohol, and put everything away and took her to the rehab. And I said, from that day on, if a female's going to go to the bathroom, I need some stuff in my purse. You better take that stuff out of your purse. They complained, no, but it's uh, in front of you. I have a wife and a daughter. There's nothing in there you can surprise me with. Nothing. There was a girl that brought some vibrators. Yeah, that's another story. That's, that's another story. She has seven vibrators. And she said, no, I got to bring my Johnny's. I said, hey. I don't know. <laughs> hey, power to you. <laughs> you can imagine the guy that receives him. When he receives her and has to go through all her stuff and he sees those seven vibrators, he's going to probably say, fucking Ray, fucking Ray. Anyway, that's the story for now. Enjoy it. Hey, like, subscribe, and share. Because there's other drivers out there who would like to share this. People that are going to retirement. I'm working on retirement. I'm going toward retirement. So we're going to talk about money. We're going to talk. We're talking about exercise. We're talking about the job. Make your job yours. Look. Look at me. My wife. I cook for my wife all her meals. I spoil her because she's the best thing ever happened to me. She's beja. Beja. But she makes me an oatmeal. A cold oatmeal. I'll tell you someday how she does it. She puts kier seeds in it. Okay, seed. I don't know how you pronounce it. It has a... Hold on. It has a, a oatmeal, bananas, raisins, uh, cinnamon, all kinds of juicy fruit flavors. And I enjoy it. She makes it in a little jar at night. And in the morning, I just take it and I take it with me and I, eat it. I carry all my food. I make my job mine. I stop to do my little exercise when I get opportunity. And if I have another chance and I see some of you, I'll stop and I take pictures and do a little video. I enjoy my job. I make any job I do enjoyable. If you can't do that, you have nothing. Don't expect money because nobody wants to give you freaking money. Enjoy your job. Enjoy the patients. You learn from them. You talk to them. You, you learn from the experience. You keep yourself out of drugs and alcohol if you just use their experience. If you listen to them and you see the shit they go through, you don't want to go through that too. You have a first-hand knowledge, experience. That's your therapy. And um, and you share with them. You talk to them. You have fun. You say stories back and forth. And it's a good thing. You got to be careful with them because they can snap very easy. But you also have to be sensitive. So you have to know how to make this trip, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 3, 4, 5 hour trip pleasurable for, and safe for all of everybody in the vehicle. You'll see some of the stories that I'm going to tell you further, which weren't so safe. I've been through everything. I think I've been through everything, but the truth is, there's still a lot more coming around. Hey, remember, Ray loves you. Like, subscribe, and share.